Everyone say hi to Daisy. No. All right. Oh, All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use these uh, light microscopes in 4209 uh, Magnolia Hall. So this is for, uh, what is it, Micro 315 labs. Anyway, so we'll make this really quick, uh, just for a review for you guys on YouTube or whatnot. Make sure you plug it in, it won't work without you plugging it in. Um, now your scope should be uh, set up without a lens in the way, the stage all the way down, and the light turned off. Once you plug it in, feel free to turn on the light to like a comfortable setting. Um, I've got a uh, slide here with the R on it. Um, this is going to be my like test slide to focus on to line the scope up. I'm just going to slip it right in here, making sure it's securely locked in place. Move it to the center, so I'm looking at the R that I wrote on it. Now at this point, I'm going to use this uh, rotating disc right here to flip the 10x in place. And as long as the 10x is in place, I can raise this stage up all the way, and my lens will never hit my slide. Only on the 10x though. And so I'm going to look through these oculars, these pieces right here, and I'm going to focus on the, the black R that I wrote on the slide, just slowly lowering it down from the top, and there, it looks like a waxy R. Awesome. So now that I'm focused on that R, I'm going to close the lamp diaphragm down here, close it down all the way, look through my oculars, and there's like a blurry circle kind of in the middle. It's just the the remnants of the light passing through the oculars. It's tiny, and I'm gonna use this condenser adjustment knob right here. This condenser adjustment knob, and I'm gonna slowly lower it, maybe just like a quarter of a turn or less, until that light becomes a sharp shape. And it's actually gonna look like a hexagon. Um, and once I've got that in focus, I'm gonna use these two screws down here. These. Uh, I think they're called angled condenser screws or whatnot. Um, and I'm going to move that shape so that it's exactly in the middle of my field of view. And then once it's in the middle, I'll open the lamp diaphragm a little bit, looking through, recenter it a little bit, readjust, open it a little more, recenter, open it a little more, until the corners of my hexagon are touching the outside of my field of view exactly. So now I have that sharp hexagon in focus and the corners are touching my field of view. I'm going to expand it just a little bit more so I don't see any darkness and my whole field of view is illuminated. At this point, uh, my scope is aligned at the 10x. My wax pencil is still in sharp focus. As long as you are in fo focus at the 10x, in sharp focus, since these microscopes are par focal, we can drop the 40x in place and not be worried about the lens touching the slide or scraping the slide. I'm just going to find focus, refocus, and then do the same process over again. Close the lamp diaphragm, re make it sharp again via the condenser adjustment knob down here. Recenter it. It needs a little bit more centering. Open it up so that the corners are touching the outside field of view and then expand it all the way. I'm going to increase my light a little bit. As I go up in magnification, I need more light. And now my scope is aligned at the 40x and subsequently the 100x. We don't really do this at the 100x. Um, so this is a video for color illumination. Real quick, something I forgot to mention is make sure you're on J. That's for bright field. This is uh, color illumination for these scopes in 4209. And uh, yeah, we will do another video for phase ring alignment. Um, but for the most part, this is what you need to do to align your scope.